Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Reed, and I'm a professional photographer. So a number of people in the comments last video wanted to know how I develop film. So I'm going to show you that a little bit later, but just I'll keep that short and just you know quickly show you. But well, I've been shooting now with the Q2 Monochrome for over two and a half years, and I've just had some fantastic results with this camera. I really love it and I will be continuing to shoot with the Q2 Monochrome. However, what I had found was that I was getting maybe just a little bit lazy with um, my composition in camera sometimes. You know, sometimes I was having to kind of straighten things up or crop things slightly. So that was one of the reasons why I have started shooting film because shooting with a rangefinder camera and shooting film, you really have to get things right in camera, especially with 35 millimeter film. So I decided that I was gonna shoot some film. I also do love the process of film. It really, really, um, you know, it just it's just such a fantastic process to do. Another thing which inspired me to use film again, I went to the Diane Arbus exhibition and it was just such an amazing thing to see all of these prints, all these silver gelatin prints that still stand the test of time today. These were all taken with film. I think what she used uh, mainly was a Mamiya C330 and I've actually got one of those cameras. But these images are far from lo-fi. In fact, you know, they're quite high definition really. Just beautiful, beautiful photos that are just so inspiring to look at. It's so good to be inspired by other photographers. And if you want to shoot film and you want to develop your own, this is how I do it. I use a darkroom changing bag, or one of these Patterson's tubs and a thermometer. I snip the end off the film and then I look for where the teeth is on the spool. Now you're going to have to do this all in the darkroom changing bag if you're, you know, you're going to do it. Then I just feed the film onto the spool, just shimmying it like this, all in the darkroom changing bag, so snip it off at the end and then I just pop it all into the tub. All done in the darkroom changing bag. Just pop the lid on. I use DF96 developer. I need some squeegees and something to hang them up whenever they need to dry. Just pour this into the tub, the DF96 that's made by Cine Still. It's all in one. Just check the temperature, it's usually around about 70 to 80 degrees. Depending between what that is, there's instructions just to tell you how long you need to put the developer in there for. Just pour it in, and then just agitate it for the amount of time that the instructions tell you to. Then every minute you're gonna to need to agitate it again Once the time's all done, you're just going to pour that all back into the tub again. And then wash it for five minutes. Easy. I then carefully remove the film from the spool. And then squeegee off any of the wet marks and then hang it up in the shower so nobody else can have a shower for the rest of the day. Here's the results.
These ones are for the Mamiya C330O. They're square format film. And I shot some digital also. Those were done using an anamorphic lens. And here's some Q3 images. So that's some digital ones and some film. Which do you prefer? Whichever you prefer, as long as you're out there taking photos on the camera that you want to use, I think that's what the most important thing is because I really do think that the process itself is one of the most important parts of photography. It's not just about the results, it is definitely about your enjoyment of actually taking photographs. Thanks again for watching everybody, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all of that sort of thing. And then also, you know, become a member of the channel because you get a lot of discounts off the workshops and also the mentorships. But also, it just allows me to keep doing these videos and putting time aside to do it. So I really appreciate all of the people that have become members so far. You just go to the about section and then support the channel and it's just in there. So I really, really appreciate anybody that supports the channel like that. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.